Good morning, everybody. Joe Moffa here with Master Life by Design. I'm in my place at the gym. I usually don't do any posts about the gym because I just have a belief that it's an absolute must. Start my day off working out. It's part of my morning ritual, and I just think everyone should be doing it. And I forget sometimes not everybody does it, right? And so I think it's really important for you to be able to wake up first thing in the morning and get a workout in. But this post, this video is not about working out. It's about, it's Monday. Most people hate Mondays. You know, yes, sometimes, you know, you're enjoying yourself on the weekend and then you got to go and you want to be able to, you know, continue that playfulness throughout the week. And we just never have the time because we got to work, right? We got to go to work. And so what I'm here to say is Mondays can be great. They can be beautiful. The only thing that stops you from enjoying Monday is the way that you look at Monday. You look at Monday as if it's a redheaded stepchild that nobody likes with some buck teeth. Even though if you have one of those, they're still beautiful. Right? It's, but it's the meaning that you're giving around Mondays and how you look at it. So here's my invitation. What if you found out that in two years you were going to die? Would you look at Mondays a little bit differently? Last night, me and my watch, wife watched the movie uh, Theory of Everything. And this guy, you know, Stephen Hawkins, right, based on a true story, how he, ha- he developed Lou Gehrig's disease, even though he was brilliant. And he is brilliant. Um, and it just started to get me to think, like, gosh, we could still walk. We could still do the simple things like feed ourselves, grab a, grab a, a spoon to feed ourselves or a fork, where most people like Stephen Hawkins, he can't do that. He can't even talk. What a blessing it is to talk. So here's my message. If you're breathing, it's a blessing. If you woke up this morning, it's a blessing. If you got a freaking job that you tell yourself you don't want to go to or you, you dread going to, you're getting paid. And that's a blessing. You could be able to supply for yourself, your family, your loved ones. That's a blessing. So let's take a look at everything that you count as, you know, um, not fun, maybe negative, maybe doesn't bring you enough joy. And look at, if we were to look at it from a different perspective, a different angle, what a blessing it truly is. All the problems in your life, what a blessing that they are for you, right? That it's not happening to you. It's happening for you. And if we want to take it even another step forward, it's not happening to you or for you. It's happened because of you, because of a decision you made in your past. So here's what I'll invite you to do. Start looking at the decisions that you're making right now moving forward because we can't change the ones in the past. Now know that there's going to be baggage and shit that comes with it from the decisions you made in the past, and that's going to show up in your future. But um, if we understand that when they do show up, we're not like, it's not something that drains us. It's not like pulling the plug as we move forward to create this new life that we want. It's actually us knowing that the garbage is being taken out. And as we make conscious decisions to say that Monday's a blessing, that going to work is a blessing, when we say that these are blessings in our lives and we look at the good, we look at the fruit in all of it, that's when our life starts to shift. You could have just broke up with somebody. And it's a blessing because of who's coming on the other side. You could have lost your job. And it's a blessing because now you get an opportunity to work on your purpose, your mission, your passion. Maybe it's that you know you hurt yourself. Well, maybe it's because it's time to slow down and look at how are you really treating your body. Maybe you need to do get in touch deeper within instead of trying to always put something on the outside. So whatever it is, it's a blessing. It's all about how we look at things in our life. And so just know the decisions that you make this point forward, those are all decisions that are going to help you create a better tomorrow. But it starts with the way you see it. It starts with the way you look at it. So if you know that you've been looking at life in a certain way, dreading Mondays or dreading you know, the week, you know, hey, look at where's the blessing. Ask yourself that question. Where's the blessing in that? And then go out there and enjoy it. Enjoy the day because you could be handicapped. You might be watching this being handicapped. At least you can breathe. At least you're here. At least you can turn on this video, right? So whatever it is, it's a blessing in your life. And this isn't spiritual. This is just, well, it may be spiritual for some of you, and it, I believe it is. But this is just fact that if you look at life through the eyes or through the lenses or at an angle of a gratitude, appreciation, abundance, all of a sudden your world starts to shift. So, I got to get back to my workout. I just thought I'd throw something at you. I'd feed your minds this morning on a Monday if you're having a challenge with it because it's truly a blessing. It's just how we look at it. And I just wanted to flip that switch on for you where we were switching from, you know, maybe 
pain, doubt, or whatever, unappreciation to gratitude. So I want to big, give a big shout out. Steven says, that's right, brother. Thank you. Expectations for appreciation today. Hey, Lucy. Hey, Maria. Wayne, what's up, brother? Uh, what's going on, everybody? Naz says, it's a blessing. Thanks. Awesome. BJ, wow, long time no see, my friend. Amen. My wife, he's on. Jeff Lowry, if you're on there, awesome. And Wayne said, great message. So, hey, with that, guys, go out there. I got to get back to my workout. I just wanted to give you that dose. Look, your blessing, you know, uh, Francis said, blessing is the heart. I salute you from the Philippines. Oh, we got the Philippines tuning in. Good stuff. And my wife says, you are in, um, uh, inspiring. So, cool. Love you, girl. All right, here's the deal. Here's what I know. You can do this today. It might sound like a challenge. It might sound like, oh, I don't know if I can do this, but you can. It's the only thing stopping you is the way that you think. And you're in control. God gave you this an unbelievable mind to make decisions, to have this free will. So go out there and choose that today. Go out there and bless yourself. Don't expect anyone else around you or even me to do that for you. So with that, go out and make today amazing. And I will talk with you on our next video. Joe Moffin, Master Life by Design. Look forward to having a great week. See ya.